Hi, everybody. Now, I don't know about y'all, but these days I've been feeling just a little bit creaky. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, sometimes when I've been sitting too long. But I think it's important if we all just keep moving, we got to keep flexible, we got to feel good about ourselves and be confident in the world. So I've been trying to fix that with something that I'm calling Tammy's Tiny Yoga. Now, I'm calling it tiny because I want to try to keep it small and easy and something that we can all do. I'm going to show y'all a few moves of Tammy's Tiny Yoga. Now, the first pose is called Hug Your Happy Self. Now, everybody needs a hug from time to time and there is absolutely no reason why you can't hug yourself. So the first thing to do is reach those arms. Just let them float up to the sky and let them float up as far as they'll go. If they only go to here, that's okay. If they go all the way up, let them reach all the way up and feel how good that reach feels. And feel the bigness of the sky. And then what you do is bring the bigness of that sky right around and give yourself a nice big hug. And when you do that, smile and give yourself a little shake. Now, smile is a good thing, too, because even if you don't feel like it, when you smile, sometimes you make yourself feel better. So we're going to do this two more times, this hug your happy self. So come on, let's do it again. Reach up, reach up and feel the whole bigness of the sky right in your fingertips, and then bring them right down and just cuddle yourself up into the sky and into your arms and give yourself a smile and a shake. That's perfect. Then let's do it one more time. Reaching up to the sky and then bring all that good old sky energy and wrap yourself in it. Give yourself a little shake and smile. Don't forget the smile is real important. Smile, even when you don't feel like it. Something about those muscle moving in your mouth will make you feel better. Give it a try. Try that in the morning when you wake up. Okay, now number two is called all the things that you can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and you're going to place it just on your left leg, just like that. And then you're going to look out onto the horizon somewhere. And you're going to place your eyes out there and just carry your eyes all the way around. And as you go around, make sure you can see everything out there. Make sure you're actually seeing everything until finally you're looking as far behind you as you can. Just hold that for a second, breathe, and then come back around and make sure you're really looking at what's in the room. See what's out the window. See what's on the wall until you come right to the center again and you have a little bit of a rest. And then you take your left hand, you put it on your right leg and you do the same thing. Now make sure you're really seeing what you see. Sometimes we look without seeing and it's real important to use your eyes and to really acknowledge the things that are in our world because that's important. So look around on the horizon, follow your eyes around, see what's on the shelf, see what's in the other room if you can look through the door, see what's all the way behind you, hold it for just a minute, feeling a little twist in your spine, it feels good and then bring it back around real slow, go really slow with this, and back around to the center. Now, it's real important with these exercises that you only do as much as you can do, and you take it slow. That's why I call it tiny yoga. So let's do this two more times. Put your right hand on your left leg, and just see all that you can see as you move your head around, and you're looking around to the back, and then you bring your head around, and you're looking to the front. And then you're gonna put your left hand on your right leg, and the same thing, you're gonna just see all that you can see. Use your eyes to move you around so that finally you're looking to the back, and then you hold for just a minute, and then you come back around seeing everything that's out there in your world. You got so many st things out there in the world, just see them all. We're gonna try that one more time just a little bit faster. Right hand on your left leg and just smoothly go around and see all that you can see. And then come back around to the front, seeing all that you can see. Let your eyes lead. Right hand, no, I'm sorry, left hand. I always get these confused. Left hand on your right leg 
and see all that you can see, all that you can see all the way around you, get to the back and hold for a minute and just breathe. And then come around again, seeing all that you can see, keeping your eyes alive. Because when your eyes are alive and you see the things that are in your world, you have a great appreciation for those things. And that is called all that you can see. Okay, now I call this one, oh well. Now, if you are a little bit younger, you might call it, oh, whatever. But I think, oh well, is a good one for us. Because it means, well, you just accept what there is, don't you? And this is how this exercise works. You're going to bring your shoulders up to your ears just as far as you can. And then you're going to just let them drop down and say, oh well, on an exhale. Okay? And we'll just do that a couple of times. Bring your e shoulders up to your ears. Not your ears to your shoulders. Your shoulders to your ears. Bring them up. Bring them up. And then just go, oh well, like with a great big sigh. And let's just do that one more time. You're going to bring your shoulders I don't know why I keep saying ears to your shoulders bring your shoulders to your ears just bring them up nice little stretch it feels good and then just say to yourself oh well now and that's what I call oh well and I'm going to finish that off with something that I call let's breathe and you're going to breathe in and you're going to just sigh like you did for oh well and you're going to breathe in again and you're going to groan like oh sometimes things are hard and then you're going to breathe in and you're going to giggle because <laughs> giggling is good for you. All right, so that's what I call whatever, oh well. So you can see these are the kinds of things that you can do just almost anywhere. You can do it while you're sitting there watching the television. You can put down your book and just do a little stretch you can even do it standing up if you want at the sink after you finish doing the dishes. And if you look out, you're going to see that I am going to be doing a full Tammy's Tiny Yoga Workout Tape. So be on the lookout for that. And one of the ways of finding out about that is to, guess what, subscribe. You need to subscribe for my channel by pushing that red button and become one of Tammy's friends. And also, what? I know what else. You can leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think about those. And maybe you have some ideas that we can add to the workout. And we can share this well-being stuff. Have some fun doing Tammy's Tiny Yoga. Come on, y'all. Do a little Tammy's Tiny Yoga. <laughs> Everything in my town has to start with the letter T. Tammy's Tiny Yoga. I'll see y'all soon and have a little fun doing a little tiny yoga. Y'all come back now, you hear?